Hi guys, welcome back to Chinese with Xiao Lu. Today we're going to talk about how to say disagreement naturally in Chinese and how to express them politely. When you totally disagree with someone, what should you say in Chinese to express your disagreement? Of course, at the same time, you want to keep your friendship and your business relationships. Definitely, it's a good idea to avoid being too direct to say you are wrong. 特别是, if the person is more senior than you or more powerful than you. So, in today's lesson, I want to focus on four strategies that you can use to disagree with someone. 话不多说, let's... <laughs> If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Let's dive in. The first strategy you can do is show them you heard them. Some common phrases in Chinese we like to use are, "I understand where you're coming from." Hmm. Mm. Mm. 我理解你为什么这么想。大概 means probably. Here shows a degree of your understanding. And this phrase is commonly used in spoken Chinese. It will definitely make you sound more natural and more colloquial. 我大概理解你为什么这么想。you can also say, 嗯,我大概明白你为什么这么想。嗯,我大概明白你为什么这么想。哦,嗯,我大概明白你的意思。嗯,我大概明白你的意思。Or you can agree with them first. 嗯,这个想法很好。嗯,这个想法很好。嗯,这个想法很好。Or oh, you can simply say, understand. 嗯,了解。嗯,了解。You have noticed that I use the word 嗯 at the beginning of every sentence. A lot of Chinese native speakers like to use this word, but when this word's intonation is different, the meaning is changed as well. Mm. Mm? Mm. Here, mm means I got you. It shows your attitude you heard what that person saying. One thing you might already notice that a lot of Chinese native speakers, when they're testing someone in social apps, they are using mm instead of mm. The reason of that, I think, is just the nature of human beings. We are lazy. Not you. When we type in Chinese formed from pin in, the auto typing system will give you a list of suggestions. Mm. It's always the first one. If it's in school, your teacher will definitely correct you. So when you're writing something really formal or it's exam, just remember this is the correct answer. Once you show your understanding, here comes the really important conjunction word, but. In Chinese, 但是. In spoken Chinese, more often we just say 但, not the ag. We all know what but means. In most the cases, but is used to indicate something that is contrasted with the first part of the sentence. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if it's in Chinese, English, or any other languages. The sentences after but is really what you want to say, right? Like, the coat is a little bit expensive, but the quality is really good. 这个外套有一点点贵，但质量很好。这个外套有一点点贵，但质量很好。这个外套有一点点贵，但质量很好。I know everybody thinks he's really mean, but he's always been very kind to me. 我知道大家都觉得他很刻薄，但是他对我确实不错。我知道大家都觉得他很刻薄，但是他对我确实不错。我知道大家都觉得他很刻薄，但是他对我确实不错。
，我知道大家都觉得他很刻薄，但他对我确实不错。I hope when saying Chinese, you can pay attention to the stress word and how I stop the sentence. If you didn't get it at the first time, you can always go back and listen again. Here, the full sentence can be, 嗯，了解。但我认为 plus your point of view, or 嗯，了解。但我觉得 plus something you want to say. The second strategy is you can bring out your own idea as another option for discussion first, without saying "I don't agree with you" directly. Like, 嗯，是不是可以 plus your suggestion or your ideas? 是不是可以这样 to end your suggestion or idea with a question mark? Or you can say, 嗯，我觉得 plus your idea, then say, 你觉得呢？嗯，我觉得，嗯嗯嗯，你觉得呢 ？The third strategy: pretend to be unsure about green. 嗯嗯，我对这个不是很确定。嗯，我对这个不是很确定。嗯，我对这个不是很确定耶。You can add a final particle. 嗯，我对这个不是很确定哦。Or you can say, 嗯，可以这样吗？嗯，可以这样吗 ？Make sure intonation and the official expression match with each other. 嗯，可以这样吗？嗯，可以这样吗？ The last strategy is we like to use some specific words to modify the negative words. Like in Chinese, we will not say "I don't agree with you" directly, but we will say "I don't agree with you." Here shows the degree of your agreement. It literally means "I'm not 100% agree with you," but actually it just means "I don't agree with you." 我不同意，我不是很同意。But it sounds more soft and polite. And in southern part of China, we like to add final particles, like 我不是很同意耶。Oh, 我不是很同意哦。And actually, you can say disagree directly. It really depends on the conversation content and the vibes. Phrases like 我不同意。不是，不对，没有，不是这样。But my suggestion again, you can add a final particle after the negative words, like 我不同意耶，不是吧，不对吧，没有吧，不是这样哦。不是这样吧 Make you sounds not that harsh, and definitely add your opinion after that. All right, that's all for today. I hope you learned something new from my video. If you do, like it and repost it. If this is your first time watch me, follow me by click the right button. I'm Xiaolu. See you next time.